Hello everyone, my name is Nolan Lecheski. I'm one of the organizers of this event um, and this contest. And today I'm gonna do a little uh, kind of demo about messing around with these samples and making a beat with them. And for that, I've recruited my friend over here. Hello, I am uh, Sam. I am in Nolan's band and I also live one wall away from him. Yeah, unfortunately. That's kind of sad. Anyways, uh, <laughs> but uh, so today we're just going to be messing around with the samples. So there's 10 samples to work with. Obviously, you don't have to use all of them, but you can if you, you can try to use as many as you want. Um, so the first thing I would do is go over and check out the samples right here. Um, <clears throat> these are the 10. These are just like temporary files that are created uh, as you use the samples. But um, these are the 10. So the first thing I would do is go through them and think about what uses they have. Are you ready, Sam? I'm so ready. Okay, here we go. Now that's a horrendous noise that real gophers make right there. What do you think of that? <laughs> these are the this is the first time I'm hearing any of these, by the way. Yeah. That well, that's how it is. I mean, this terrible. is like terrible. That is terrible. All right. So this is this is what I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking we can pitch that and put some effects on it and then make it sound like something like a trumpet. That's my that's what I'm thinking. Um, so eventually that could be melodic. I'm thinking. Okay, that's tens. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's a pen sound. Um, what do you think? Uh, it's certainly better than the other one. <laughs> be a nice percussion. Yeah, I think that's a nice kind of background. Uh, it keeps the beat moving. This one's fun. For the boat. That's all it is. <laughs> um, that's self-explanatory. That I don't know, but we'll, we will try to use it today. Uh, the next one is air. Sounds like air. I'm thinking maybe a transition to a chorus or, or, or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, textbook page turn. There you have it. Uh, maybe like a, like a, I don't know, yeah. percussion thing. It's hard to like explain, but uh, chopped fuzzy noise. That's exactly what it sounds like. I'm thinking Stereo. like a, a build up. I don't, I don't even think you'll really, we have to mess around with that sample much. You know, like what is that from? That's just, uh, I just used, I actually created these samples and I used some just virtual instrument for that. Some of these are recorded, some aren't. This one, it's what you'd expect it to be. It's the end of the rouser. Um, that's a tricky one to use because it's not one pitch, but we're gonna mess around and see what we can do because there's a lot of thirds the whole way through, especially right at the end. All right, gargly atonal fall. It's kind of a fun noise. Space. Once again, those are those seem like some easy transitional ones. Uh, vocal shot. I like that because I think it'll be easy to have like a little bit of a background melody to like a beat or something. And the last one, 808 sub kick. Exactly what you'd expect it to be. Uh, a nice thing to just have for making that first beat. So now we are going to uh, jump into. I gotta move this up here so I can use it. We're gonna jump into Logic. Um, and so the first sounds that I, I kind of started playing around with a couple, uh, but so I have a sampler here and here we have the entirety of the browser. I input it here um, and then, so for example, we have, it, it's the whole thing, um, but I put it, uh, I picked this last note because it holds out really nicely. Um, this is what it sounds like and so when you throw it in the sample it'll map to all the keys and once again if you don't have a keyboard this is something that can you can you can still use um, if you use uh, so like if you click into here um, you can bring this up and you can place the notes oh wow press the wrong button just like this so you, you don't need a keyboard for it but it, it is uh, it is a nice way to kind of feel out what you're playing um so i i think maybe that's like a little accent we can add here and there um i added a little bit of reverb to open it up because it sounds a little dry that just sounds a little more open a little more stereo um the tricky thing about that is it's not a singular note so whatever you play it's a major third and that's going to make it a little tricky but we will see what we can do and then over here I did the same thing and I dropped in this little uh, 
that we heard earlier. This little, uh, this is the uh, vocal shot. Um, and I'm thinking if we come up with a melody from there, that might be an easy way. So I'm kind of thinking something like. Then we go down, come back up, and there you have just your three easy chords back up to the E. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Is this a logic specific competition? It is not. People can use whatever they want. Okay. So ultimately, it's kind of just like. Obviously, the tools might not be the same. You can use Garage. I mean, if you use Garage, man, it is very similar to Logic. Uh, that's what I'm working with right now. Um, okay, so let's say I did record that melody here. Simple. Um, uh, okay, so I think we'll go with that. And then one thing is um, we can try this rouser with it. But the issue is it's all major. I'm kind of thinking that first one sounds nice and minor. Uh, but it... Whoops. <laughs> I just don't like, ah, it's so happy. So I think maybe we'll use it when it gets to the bottom. So I think we'll play around with that. I think uh, for now we can delete this and start get our start of the track going. Um, I really don't know exactly what we're kind of going for. So I think, uh, you know, with it being a 30 second to a minute sample, and it doesn't have to be a hip hop beat, it doesn't have to be anything in spe specific, um, we'll just make like something. But I think uh, the next step that would be probably good is to just start making a beat. Uh, because from there, especially with it being, you know, a little sample or, or a little, you know, only 30 seconds. Yeah. So I'm gonna open up the, um, if I can find it, the quick sampler. If you're gonna use multiple samples uh, that you wanna use together, you can use the multi sampler, but also it's, everyone will probably be using different stuff. So from there, I'm gonna drag in the, uh, uh, if I can find it, the 808 sub kick that was one of the samples. Okay, um, so to between these, there's original tuning, whatever. This is just kind of a little quicker. It... That's nice. Yeah. So uh, it kind of automatically maps for me. Um, and with a, with a sound like this, it's not so complex. I'm just going to throw it in mono. And that sounds a little deeper. Uh, it's a little quiet, um, so sometimes, you know, the volume's already all the way up on here, but uh, I just want it to be a little bit deeper, so I'm going to throw on right here. It's just This is just compression, and there's presets on probably every program. I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can find something for just bass, bass, opto bass. Let's see how that sounds. That thickened it up right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's deep. It's very deep. I'm still gonna bring it up like just this is just the output. Maybe just four decibels. Okay. So yeah. So just try whatever beat. I'm having Sam just play a little something. So ready? Here we go. And we'll just uh we'll see if we like it. I dig it so um, very simple yeah so then one thing uh, when you if you are recording yourself otherwise it'll snap in around here very easily but uh, when you record yourself humans aren't perfect but we want to be perfect everything. exactly it needs to sound like a robot um, and then right here you have your levels I'm just gonna I'm gonna make it pretty uniform yeah, it just bring up most of them you know there's actually an easier way to do this but this is just what I'm used to um, just click the ones I want. Okay, so I dig that. Um, you know, sample-wise, uh, let's see, what do we got for samples? We have, uh, next, 
you know, I'm thinking like hi hat snare just to get that beat going. Um, and I honestly don't think any of these samples would work too well for like a, a snare. And and uh, there are some sometimes people do contests where you can only use the samples, but just for the sake of time, I think it'll be a little quicker. We'll you we'll still utilize if not all these samples, most of them. Um, but for the sake of time, instead of making a snare out of that, we're just going to probably open up... Sorry, I moved over to Logic there, or Ableton. That's another thing you can use, but we're just using it to record the audio right now. Anyways, that was a tangent. Here we go. We're going to add just a simple... I don't know. There's lots of options. I'm thinking we just bring up... Let's just go Ultra Beat Drum Machine... And then here we go. And there's just going to be some presets in here. I, you know, just that low end right there is just 808 sub. So I think we should just bring up the 808 to begin with. And okay, so that's great. Um, um, you know, th there's a very quick way to do this that I think we might just do. I'm going to create this. And this is, instead of using the keyboard for this, uh, you just find the closed hi hat here, and I'm just going to. We'll go. Uh, there's this tool right here called Paint, um, Paintbrush. Here we go. And whatever you have the quantization at, if I can. Where is this? Ooh, we should use some claps. I'm a big fan of claps. Okay, so if we paint right here, <laughs> if I can do it right. <laughs> Do you like that? Should it go 16th, do you think? I think 16th. Well, I like, think it should start 8th and then go, you know. Like a little. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me just get the 8. Let me get all the 8s yeah. in here, and then we'll figure out where we're going. Are you thinking there? Or you think like earlier. Like maybe on the 3? A little. Yeah. One, one, two, three. Like on the and the 3? What do you think? Yeah, like yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. So what's cool about this paint tool is now we can even try 30 second notes just for fun. Uh, I'm oh, interested. Uh, let's get rid of this first. Is that really 30 second notes? Yeah, I guess they are. <laughs> that's kind of, that's nasty. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, I like it. Um, I, sometimes you can mess around with pitch, which will make that little thing sound really nice but uh maybe we, maybe what we do is we just uh let's add let's just start adding in so now when you're making a beat you can all do it you can do it all right here so we see claps or you know but let, let's start with the snare here we go that's not where we want that my bad oh. yeah oh. that snare that snare is nice that sounds like uh like travis Heck, scott yeah. <laughs> Okay, but now, let's see. So that 808 is just booming that whole time. So I think we still need to add in a kick before that yeah. snare. Boom, boom. Because yeah. kind of the pattern it goes into later. So let's just go. Uh, that is totally wrong. I need to like play it. Dude. Yeah. There we go. Um... <laughs> now I'm kind of thinking, all right, it's a little intense. <laughs> or the, the... You can always mix it later. Yeah, that's true. Is that, do you like that kick? Yeah. What if it's a clap? Ooh. It's almost like, I think we just don't have it. I think yeah. we just move on to the next part. Let's just go ahead. You know, in fact, let's just, uh, yeah, and then we'll just, we'll just take what we have, but we will adjust it. And I'm thinking like, I'm thinking we don't, we don't go on the one again. We yeah. do a little upbeat. Like, uh, let me just play it.
I, I totally, okay. there we go. You got it. I thought I hit one, I thought I accidentally hit two keys. Sometimes it's a little easier like that, and then I'll just quantize it, not to 30 seconds, but to 16th. trying to do it's very polyrhythmic is it do you think it's too I much like it, no. <laughs> okay yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what you're trying to do right? no that is it's just it's the way it's clash you know usually a lot of times you put your kicks with your with that sub 808 yeah. but i kind of you know you don't when you're doing this you don't have to follow any kind of rules and i mean i know there's we don't have any dynamics right now but when you're working with like electronic instruments uh Okay, but now we need a clap, because I need my clap. What if it, let's just try that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's not, uh, that might not be what I'm thinking. I don't think that looks, is this bad? It's not terrible. Maybe that, I feel like maybe that should just be a different sound. Let's see, what kind of sounds you got over there, Sam? Let's do an open hi-hat there. Let me just, I can just move this up. That'll be nice. And let me just, we'll just copy and paste this. Yeah, that's nice, okay. It's just because we're working with so many subdivisions. Okay. I mean, that's very simple. Oh, I'm kind of thinking that we break it back to like, like a just just for this little like build up maybe. Sure. Okay, hold up. I, I'm not used to using. I usually honestly don't even use the the paint tool. Like a x, x, instead of just, no. No! Oh my gosh, I'm totally wrong. I'm thinking this. You know, like a x. Maybe we don't even use the open hat. Maybe we use the, oh, the symbols kind of program. No, definitely, definitely the cowbell. <laughs> Okay, well, let me first copy the, well, the beat we have so we just can solidify. It. Just have the under underneath stuff. Whoa. <laughs> I actually Why is it doing that? It's because uh, when you do the hi hat close hit, it closes the hi hat mm -hmm. like a real one. I almost feel like it needs to it could go. Yeah, but let's like not bring it back down. Yeah. And then not bring it back down there, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sweet. Is this what being like a rapper's hype man feels like? <laughs> <laughs> Beat makers, hype man. I, I don't know, man. I have not. This is like, obviously, this music is slightly different from what we make in our band, yes. but uh, not that different. We have a lot of electronic elements, but. Oh, that little break is. Yeah, that little break is good. Um, what happened here, though? We're like missing stuff. Oh, it's this up hi hat. Let's just. Oh, and then we can have like a little, like a little breakdown there. I don't even know, yeah. but that we're gonna ahead of ourselves. So, okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna start labeling this stuff. Uh, so boom. I don't know what the correct terminology is. All right, so I'm thinking we need to start utilizing these samples. Can you the boat, please? <laughs> the boat is gonna be the most the challenging boat. one, but uh, oh, let's beat. let's we have this. I I don't know if this is gonna fit in. I 
I don't know how I feel about the major. I'm trying to see what I just, it's not the, that's yeah. not the mood at all. It's dark. It's a little too happy. Yeah. Like, you could have a part of the song if this was a full song where maybe it switches, but I don't know. I'm kind of thinking, like, I wish that this held over longer. Like, maybe let's just put Absolutely. a ridiculous reverb, amount of yeah. reverb and we, because it just, when it, yeah, when it's like, a, when we're like doing like the rhythm, I don't like it, but I yeah. like the, like a one shot of it. So let's just check out some large spaces, outdoor spaces. Are you thinking mountain echoes? Give that a shot. See, this is why I hope that we get it to stereo. That's going all over our ears. It's very stereo. Let's try it on that. I, you know, I it wasn't exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking of it sustaining longer, but the like little rhythm to it. I think it just needs to go. I'm about that. Now, what happens if we, uh... Let's turn the wet up. Can we turn up the size? It's not like... Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I think we need... I want to put reverb on it before this reverb, because it's kind of a delay. So if we just uh, throw on more reverb... You can never have too much. Why is that so weird? Okay, let's just see. Okay, let's just rearrange the order. Let's put the other reverb on the other. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking that. Do we just have it on C or else the D? What do you think? I like it on both. Maybe when we get to. It's gonna land somewhere. Maybe instead of this sample, when we get to this. We use that gopher and we turn it into a trumpet. I think that's the next step oh, okay. here. We, we gotta mess with that. Okay, so let's uh, let's have you. You can record this. Here we go. Yeah. This is this is a very odd sounding song, but I actually it's dig a it. Whale sampling. Yeah, I mean, it essentially sounds like a whale. Just like the. That is just <laughs> oh. a whale. Okay, cool. I think it's a little loud. I mean, but that's really going at it. I'm a big fan. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'll put it up top. We're gonna we're gonna open up at another single quick sample stereo, of course. We are not heathens. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna. This is a challenging one. Um, I I've messed around with it before because when I made some of these samples, I was like, I gotta make sure that this is like usable. Um, but it is. Uh, I haven't used it with this sampler yet, but I'm thinking this might be helpful. So let's see. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I need to do. I'm gonna slice it. It sounds like a little kid yelling. Oh my god. What sounds? To you, between these two. That one. Definitely the first, the first one. one? Okay. So, in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do it this way. Can we zoom in? We can. Awesome. The sampler is new to Logic, which is sick. Um, and we'll just have it last this long. But it will really just be, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Now we got it on all the pitches. It does not sound very good yet. But you see what I'm getting at? <laughs> the little... The, it gets a little intense there. <laughs> but, uh... But that's okay. Alright. So, let's, uh... Let's... I have a little bit of an effects uh, rack that I made for to make something sound like a trumpet already. Uh, and where is it? It is... Where would I have put this? 
Okay, well, it's okay. We will do this from scratch. That, then we can learn more anyways. Okay, so first thing, I'm just going to EQ it like a trumpet. Luckily, they have a preset for that somewhere. Horns, perfect. Okay, what? Uh, not a muted trumpet, but a, sure, a pop trumpet. It's obviously going to be higher. I'm just going to move this up. There we go. Okay, I, I think it, it kind of, the pitch goes up so quick in the sampler. It could have. That was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna try it now. Much better. Okay. Yeah, it's like a trumpet. It's a very crappy trumpet, but it's okay. We're gonna put some chorus on it. Honestly, I'll tell you what, I I did a better job making it sound like a trumpet before, but it doesn't matter because... <laughs> hold on, hold on. So, uh, the pitch is That's like messed up. incorrect pitch. Well, I have no idea what an E sounds like anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the... Uh... Oh, I reversed it! Just the initial sound. Good enough. Uh, the, you know, because gophers don't actually, surprisingly, they don't sing to any specific pitch. Honestly, I'm tempted to, like, just do something low with it, make it sound a little nicer. Let's just throw some reverb on it because that that'll make it sound better. <laughs> I don't know. I just uh, I'm thinking. I think that could be a background thing there. Uh, so like... I, I like the start, but... That's what I'll do, okay. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna sound awful once it starts modulating pitch, but Drop. dang, yeah, that was perfect. Great. That gopher knows what's up. <laughs> okay, so once again, we'll quantize that. Wait a sec. I don't even know what kind of song this is, but it's it's something. Okay. Okay. I think uh, just to make it a little bit longer, I'm just gonna we'll copy and paste the beat here. Yeah. Um, because I think it shouldn't. That's like the end of like a chorus or a verse or something. Uh, and it should 
because now we'll have more space to use the other samples. That sounded, that sounded, okay, all right, all right, yeah, sure. That sounds, I'm eager like, to use that. Okay, all right. This chair is so uncomfortable. I <laughs> mistake. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to throw in Row the Boat. Uh, we're just going to do it with this, just the original, because. Row the Boat? Yeah. Row the Boat. Okay, here we go. I think it's it kind of I want it to like I want us to I'm gonna bring the attack like I almost want to work with this just as an audio file. Pretty, pretty, pretty. But we'll we'll do that. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Where should it go? Because I'm, I wanna. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to. Do do do. Bounce in place. Just so I can turn it into an audio file. Sometimes audio files are a little easier to work with. So I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna chop. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. It's pretty epic. PJ is a very musically talented guy. Yeah. So then here I'm thinking... I just want to quick... Take Rhoda. I'm just going to copy that, but I'm going to bring that back. Because I want to do... Rhoda, Rhoda. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of hype. Wait, wait, wait. We could call it Brother Boat. Okay, is this too much row the boat, you think? No, it should never have it. Should it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm kind of thinking this one, we just do this again quick. I would uh, say it kind of feels dead with that, uh... Right here? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to add some stuff in there. Yeah, it's like, 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 oh, I have an idea. It'll be Rota Rota Boat. Boat on beat one, you know what I'm saying? Boat. Yeah. Uh, I always zoom out too much and then I get confused. There we go. Or zoom in too much, rather. Oh, my gosh. Rota Rota Boat. Boat. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can we also do like a if we open the uh, this? Pretty bit, pretty bit, pretty bit. Just a, oh, I'm gonna quick go into now that we already have that. I'm just gonna go into the sampler again and just get boat. <laughs> so we can do like a. Like a yes. Brother, brother. Off. Yeah. I think it's, it's a good okay, so 
I can delete this at this point. I had to, I had to press it a little earlier because. Okay, so cool. Uh, let's just we'll keep that going. Uh, we'll just put it right here. My bad, I messed this up. Uh, undo. This needs to go right here, and then it will work. There we go. Oh, I think this yeah, this boat, that. yeah, the, the low boat Continue. keeps going, and we need to put like some reverb on that, of course. <laughs> it's a little bit loud. Yeah, okay. We gotta use more samples. Yeah, indeed. Okay, um, let's see. What haven't we used yet? We haven't used the, uh, the pens. Haven't yeah, we? I think the pens, we can easily just put it in the second verse to make it more you interesting. Kind of a shaker, maybe? Right. Um, let's throw them in. Okay, here we go. So the, the trick is gonna be finding it. One that I'm gonna we want this to recycle uh, maybe <laughs> I didn't know there's a pitch to it all right let's see what we can do That seems to be the note, even though it's not. What's that? We'll just do that. Yeah, okay. Ah! Here we go. Sample's done. Okay. Nice. What now? Uh, we got. We, we, use we got some transitions. Uh, that's kind of going to be the next thing. What are you thinking? Should we try some air? Yeah. You can do some air where that that empty spot is, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's see what we can do here. Let's yeah, move it. Yeah, I mean, you can do any pitch. Uh... That needs to kind of arrive, that second verse. Yeah. Uh, let's just get, let's figure out what we can do with this quick. Why don't you do it right there? Yeah. Sure. What key did you have? C. Okay, ready? What are you thinking? Just right on uh, beat? Yeah. All right. That counts, but... That, that'll that'll yeah. do. We didn't augment it much. I mean, I, I'm thinking go in and like you know adjust the mix. it's very weird but that's okay all right so i'm thinking something that arrives um let's try that fall once again just i keep using the sampler but it's just like really quick um obviously there's just you can augment it in other ways that aren't so quick but probably wouldn't be able to do this in 
under an hour. For the sake of not making you incredibly bored. Right. We're going quickly. We're having fun, but uh, we don't know if you guys are having fun. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Hmm. What if we do... <laughs> I'm thinking this is needs to be like a little more background. And um, once you do have a lot of elements going, it's nice to pan them and make them nice and. And I think that we should put on like a little bit of uh, a little bit of something. Sounds like a shock kind of. It is. In your left ear? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Wait, oh, I forgot where it was. Uh, let's row the boat. Uh, did I? It's at the top. It's at the top? Yeah, you're right. I need to start labeling more. Okay. Pens. on this little part. This it's like a little bit much here. Yeah, I like that a little better. Okay. Um, what are some textbook page turn? I wonder if that would be... Um, just a... Yeah, is that it, really? I think so. Because we could... Oh, we didn't do chopped fuzzy noise. Let's just throw those in and let's see if we can <laughs> see if we can work them in. Yeah, the fall is what we were just messing with. Let's just try chop fuzzy noise. Wow. Uh, that's a nice little build up. Yeah. Okay, I like that. And I'm just gonna quick. I only want right. I can build to Okay, hold up. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. It's got a bit of a chorus to it. Yeah. I don't like that there's a little bit of a pitch to it. Yeah. Yeah. I want that. Uh, I wonder if I can augment the speed. We're getting a little too picky, but that's okay. That's how it is. Um, yeah, you better be picky too if you want to win a competition. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. That's right. Oh, we're getting there. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm changing the pitch just slightly, but it's not as. It's not as. Obvious. Oh, we're getting there a little faster. Maybe six is what we need. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, okay. That's that's beautiful. Here we go. Oh, I totally missed it. Oh, I missed it. Wait a second. I'm doing something completely wrong, aren't I? That's not good. Gotta quantize it. Yeah, I think um, if I was gonna really get technical with it, I would I would do something with so it's like really left and right. Quick. But I'll do that in post. Okay, cool. One more sample to use, and then we're good to go. Uh, that being textbook, textbook page. page turn. All right, these are all kind of like transitional, so. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, that's what we want. And now, here we go. Textbook. See, I'm labeling it right away this time. You're learning. I know, learning from my mistakes. Here we go. Man. Second. Do you like for 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 the counting? Just like do what? Right at the beginning. Just right at the beginning. <laughs> I think that's fine. Literally, just on the yeah. first part. Oh, I did it wrong. What did I do last time? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, just kind of like, sure, but yeah, um, yeah, so I think like what I would do from here, obviously it needs a mix, it, things need to be panned out, I would have this textbook go kind of left to right in your headphones. Like an arrival here that's just massive beat sure perfect that is crunchy that's crunchy here we go that's all we need a little verb of course and if i had more time i'd make sense for the verb and i could go way down but that's nice. It reminds me of like the end of uh, Rockstar by Post Malone. Just like the guitar. It's obviously for it, but like if this was guitar. Yeah. It sounds like someone's laughing with those pens. It does actually sound like a guitar. Yeah, it definitely is. God, they won't do it unless it's. So, well, there's the song, guys. Uh, it took us. Um, I don't know Way how long it long. took us. Near an hour. To put a little something together, um, I'm going to do a full mix and I will have that play at the end of the vi video.